Hi there, I'm Neen. LabVIEW has helped engineers save hundreds of hours of development time, and that's largely owing to it being graphical. LabVIEW was designed to help you program like you think. Engineers and scientists tend to be more visual thinkers, so when we want to describe or model a system, we often end up uh, drawing a flowchart or a diagram like this one. Now with traditional programming languages, you're going to have to learn syntax and then use that to map the problem or map this flowchart to a sequential set of code line after line. With LabVIEW, however, LabVIEW abstracts syntax and helps you map this flowchart to a similarly looking graphical algorithm like this one. Now, this is possible because of LabVIEW's data flow logic, which means that every LabVIEW function or node will only execute once it has all of its inputs. And then once it has its inputs, it'll execute and it'll send out an output down the path to the next function in the data flow path. To better visualize it, let's take a look at a quick example here. Here I have a very simple algorithm where I'm um, converting from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And you can immediately see, you can follow the logic there. You can, for example, you can tell that the multiply function can't multiply until it has the result from the subtract function and the result from the divide function. So we know that the subtract and the divide have to execute first, then the multiply can execute and then send out the output to the indicator. And you see here, we're not thinking about syntax. We're not worried about syntax. We're just following the flow of the data as we write our alg algorithm. Now to um, even better visualize that, we can use highlight execution right there. Highlight execution is a feature that lets you literally flow through or step through your algorithm, uh, which usually helps you if you want to uh, debug for any logic codes. So uh, logic errors, sorry. So now I'm going to quickly run and you'll see as we expected, the subtract and divide have to execute first before the multiply does. Just as we expected, I'm gonna run it one more time in case you missed that. And there we go. So here we see that LabVIEW's, in, like LabVIEW's graphical nature doesn't just help you make programming more intuitive, it also helps you better visualize your algorithm so that you can debug it faster, find errors faster. Now LabVIEW's data flow logic also means that parallel programming is inherent to LabVIEW. If two functions or if functions aren't connected or wired in any way, they're going to run at the same time. For example, here the subtract and the divide. Or to make it even clearer, let's create another calculation. I'm just going to uh, use an increment function. Let's say I'm incrementing six plus one and then creating an indicator. And there we go, voila, I have two separate calculations that are going to run at the same time independently. So you get to take advantage of LabVIEW's uh, multitasking and multithreading. And that's significant because multitasking and multithreading usually require uh, complex and time-consuming coding. Now, using LabVIEW is time efficient, not just because of its intuitive uh, nature, but also because it includes features that help you build anything from uh, data acquisition and signal processing all the way to user interface development and uh, report generation. When you're learning a traditional programming language, you're learning, you're learning syntax and how to code. But when you're learning LabVIEW, you're learning how to build and develop a complete test and measurement system. I'll summarize this with a quote from a customer that I was recently talking to about LabVIEW. The visual, it's unparalleled. I think in visual all the time. I can go through the program in my head and know what it's going to look like when I get to it. Thanks for watching.